So every Steam sale, I take 20 bucks and I buy a handful of extremely obscure games with no traction or fan base. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I ended up with this problem. But I'm always on the search for new gems. Sometimes I do get games like Infinite Adventures, Troubleshooters, and this year's treasure? Kaiju Big Battle Fight O Fantasy. For those that don't know, Kaiju Big Battle is a legit, real-world wrestling league where people dress in rubber suits and duke it out in the ring. Fido Fantasy is a JRPG using these wrestlers and their universe that the league built up. Think of it like Earthbound for uh, WWE. It's silly, it's stupid, and it's amazing. In the middle of a championship match, our hero suffers a cheap chair shot and the evil Dr. Cube uses a magic slug to rip a portal in space-time. Our heroes chase him through time and try to set things right. Yeah, it's silly, it's stupid, I already admitted that. But this humor and theme are really all through the game. They're in the move design, the attack text, the story cutscenes, the NPC dialogue. It all holds up really well and never really outstays its welcome. A few things I do want to mention. First up, the core level design is the first time we see a JRPG that adequately latches onto a Souls-like level design. It's all about exploring interconnected paths. Enemies are all visible, pre-designed, and limited as you explore for shortcuts and key items to open new paths. Return to a save point and both you and the enemies will recover. It does an excellent job of creating that risk-reward feeling with the exploration despite it being far easier in terms of actual challenge. Second is meaningful customization. None of the eight playable wrestlers feel the same. They each have their own distinctive play style and unique special moves. But things really start getting interesting when you look at some of the equipment options. You have these badges that allow you to add new skills, such as a free healing ability or the ability to summon ghosts to attack. For the entire second half of the game, I was swapping in and out party members and equipment just to try to find a more OP broken build because it was so much fun to play with. If all of this isn't enough, it's chock full of labor of love touches. You have a database of heroes and villains to learn their wrestling league backstories. You unlock interviews and side quests. God, there's just so much passion here. No, this game isn't must play for everyone. But if it sounds even mildly interesting to you, this game is fantastic.